And there's no denying it's an amazing moment for the family, but is it a moment that you should share with everyone? And in this case, what about your toddler? A New York family is making news, stirred up a little controversy. They allowed their three-year-old to help deliver her baby brother. Hunter helped hold her baby brother Rory's head as he crowned. She even held her baby for skin-to-skin -skin contact. And you know, a lot of people saying, what a beautiful way to share uh, the birth of your, your child with their sibling. And then others say, wait a minute, this is too much, Docs. I, I humbly kind of thought it was cool. Did you? Yeah, if well, done that, in the right, if I mean, done in the right way. I'm not saying have a three-year-old deliver a baby, I mean, but to have well, the, with it. the right, with the I, right big sister, but if they can, if they can. This hunter's never going to ask the question, where did my brother come yeah. from? So this was a home birth, and there was a doula there and a midwife there, and they, I'm assuming that they took the proper precautions, like knowing to be close to a hospital and all of that good stuff. I will say that I would never tell another medical provider what to do during their delivery, so I can only speak for myself. I think personally, I wouldn't necessarily have a three-year-old assist mm -hmm. me, and I can't really think of any of my colleagues who would do so. Um, now, if there's a dad who wants to help out and he's good with blood and he mm -hmm. wants to throw on some gloves, then we can make that happen. But just personally, it's it's probably not something I would do. Like, she felt the, the card palpating before they delivered the placenta and she did other things. It's like, and they said they prepared her for this by showing videos and all of that other stuff. Dr. Judy, do you feel like you can be sure that you are properly preparing a three-year-old for something like that? No, because cognitively, they may not really be there to be properly prepared, especially when things go wrong. Mm -hmm. And I worry about the developmental appropriateness of a three-year-old who's pulling out a baby, right? I mean, there's something, oh, well, well, I feel like that could be let's, potentially let's traumatizing. Here. The, the, the three-year-old was not pulling out the baby. The three-year-old was not really assisting in the delivery. I think she had and if you look, head. no, that's not the way, this, that's the way these stories always get blown up. I, like, I just, that's a midwife thing. Yeah, and so yeah. if you look at the picture of that three-year-old, it just looks, she looks like a really well-adjusted three-year-old, very happy, and, and I just, I just, I don't know. I read this story and I was like, ah, the medical world's just gonna judge these people and tell them how terrible they well, are. Well, no, and, and I, I'm not, I don't want the mom <laughs> right. who may watch this to feel like I'm judging her and, or telling her how to rear her child or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying the child was just there and not necessarily, oh. you're saying maybe the, the story was distorted and that the child wasn't actually really delivering the baby, then absolutely. I allow children to be in the room a lot. They're not gonna necessarily be in the field. They'll be and up by mom's cool. head. Yeah. Yeah. And doing right. that, so that makes sense. my my thought is, if the child was actively delivering the baby and doing all of this other stuff as it was told through the story, then I say I'm not for that. But just a child being by mom's head and not necessarily and hands I think on. That's, you I'm know, good that's reality. That. No one knows what that. happened there because yeah. I think anyone up here would say it's absolutely but, absurd for a three-year-old to actually take part in the actual. That's a, yeah, the most okay. absurd thing I've ever heard of in my life. Okay. But I think that we do, I, I, I'm just thinking back to, because I, I spent a lot of time in labor and delivery, both in medical school, I did a full rotation, six weeks, I did a full month of just doing nothing but delivering babies, and the environment that is not, the, it's not always a one size fits all approach. This, incorporating the family, getting back, I just kinda like that. Well, times haven't changed. I mean, my first at Lenox Hill, as a surgeon who trained there, wouldn't allow me in the room for the birth mm. of, of my son. How crazy is wow. that for the reason if something goes wrong, mm. that, that they don't want someone to be a part of that. Well, and I think scenario, that's where a scenario. good doctor and someone like Dr. Nita where, you know, you have to really be aware when a baby is being delivered, most of them do, they go, really yeah. smoothly, mm -hmm. at the first sign of anything, you, you've got, that's when you've got to be on top of it, and that's yeah. where you got to have the birth plan in place. And I think, I guess to finish this off, you even said this on a recent show, which was really cool, is how, you know, more and more hospitals, more and more OBs, more and more midwives, they're, they're working directly with the, the mother and the family, like, okay, what do you want your birth experience to be? Okay. What works for you? Okay, well, that's a little too extreme. We're not gonna allow that, but this is what we can do, and this is what we can do safely, and this is what's gonna happen if something goes awry. Um, I just couldn't believe how, they're just like really critical toward, towards this, this family. And, I just, I, and my only comment, though, was also, 
there was a lot of backlash, I think, because posting it all on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. And that, that was kind of like, oh, Maybe that's okay. a private moment yeah. for family to share.